when I say trophy sound, man, this shit is like a, a, a lifestyle. You know, this is just what my life always been. It started out, you know, with playing basketball. And we used to always win a championship. Shout out to the World Fight Soldiers, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, winning trophies, you know? And then I, I, I applied to my music. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, but we always going for the trophy and going for the gold. So that's the whole motto of Trophy Sound, man. And I got that Trophy Sound. I perfected the craft over the years. And uh, now it's like, shit, I just feel like I be unstoppable whenever I'm on that mic, you know what I'm saying? So. When I speak trophy sound, that's just really me, man, for real. Yeah, man, we're here at Guitar Center because what happened was I went to the venue earlier and uh, they had one speaker, and I ain't talking about nobody equipment and shit, but a nigga phone wrong while he was performing. And I'm like, oh, we're gonna go on cross. A nigga phone wrong while he was performing and uh, that shit was just tacky to me, you know? Not taking away from the artist or the DJ, but I just want to give me a speaker, you know what I'm saying? That way, shit, I have my own DJ equipment. We can pop up and do a show anywhere, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, how y'all doing? Man, I got a show today, right? And I went to the show, and they had one speaker, so I need to get me a speaker just just so yeah uh y'all got like a good bluetooth speaker it's a show in the park so i need something that can travel uh it's about maybe a hundred people out there okay yeah so welcome to speaker world uh-oh excuse me So you got something that's easy to like plug up? I was to say, all these guys are just plug in to the wall socket. And then like I said, like the electro voice ones, for example, like number 20 or number like 19. Those you got Bluetooth? Plug. Yeah. So you or any of these Bluetooth? Yeah, yeah I said, those are Bluetooth. Which one is going to hit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'll probably tell you, Electro Voice is a really good one, too. Electro Voice is a 1299, right? Yeah, and, well, they have like a 499 one, too, that like can still handle like 100 people if you get like two of those guys. Just spread them out a little bit. Oh, if I got two of them, yeah. But these right here, I can get two of those. Do they come with a stand? They do. They don't come with stands or anything. You do have to purchase stands separately. Purchase the stand separately. That's with whatever speakers you get. But if I get that, that's Bluetooth? Mm -hmm. uh, this one's Bluetooth too, but like I said, it's not as loud uh, or not as clean sounding as like the electric voice or any of those guys. Like you really have to hit that like 399, 499 around. We got a DJ our own set, man, for <laughs> real, you know? What's up, guys? It's your girl, Blue Sarabi, and I am a videographer and a artist here shooting, uh, helping out Hawk. You know, we got some good content coming out, so make sure you check it out, because that is fire. Having shows anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Might pull up and just, you know what I'm saying? And just do a show right there. Pop-up shows. Pop-up shows. Yeah, yeah, man. Birthday I don't know. Birthday parties. Birthday parties, yeah, yeah. I wonder if he get commission on this. Probably do. You think so? I'm gonna go town and try to, yeah, find him and stuff like that. Yeah. I was gonna say if I was a couple years old, get a same citizen discount. Oh yeah. Nah, for real, right? See, you almost there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now that I got this new speaker, uh, I'm gonna be performing at churches. And I'm talking about Church's Chicken, and wherever I want to pull up, we performing, you feel me? So, y'all be ready. The pop-up show is coming back, man, for real. So, uh, we got our own sound system. That way, I'm telling you, I need now I need an official DJ, you know, where I get my own DJ and stuff like that. And uh, we just gonna, we gonna rock, man, independently, man. We can do this shit. This is trophy days, for real. So let me borrow some of y'all scissors for the uh, for the day. I'll bring them back tomorrow. <laughs> you gonna let me have a dolly too, right? <laughs> Be carrying that big ass thing. Man, I hope it can fit. I got my dad out here. That's a beautiful feeling. My dad, he was locked up like my whole life, but everybody was always telling me like I'm just a split image of him. Nah, nah, we don't need the plastic. 
I'm a split image of him, so to have him out here next to me while I'm out here grinding, it's just like, man, sometimes I get emotional about that shit, man, for real, but I love my dad, you know? Uh, regardless of any faults or, you know, uh, whatever, you get what I'm saying? That's, that's just real love, you know? So yeah, y'all stay tuned. in the AT&T Stadium, I remember Post Malone had his uh, his festival or whatnot. So I go and I scope the place out real early, right? And I see that all of the staff workers had lime green on. Why did I go home and put back on a lime green shirt and acting like the staff? I was down there in the VIP rooms, everywhere. And what I was inspired by, it was the fact that Post Malone, he had a movement so tough, he had rooms for his family right down in, in the bottom of the AT&T building. Room for his family, room for his uh, his label, and like shit like that. And it was set up like little party rooms. And that shit inspired me. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do some shit like this where everybody that believed in my shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a big fest. I'm gonna throw a big festival and we gonna do a big ass event. And it's gonna be all love, man. So I just wanna tell y'all that story about uh, how I snuck in the Post Malone Festival. Uh, posty fest, post fest. I think that's what it was, man. And I remember throwing my uh, throwing my uh, green, my lime green shit and changing clothes downstairs somewhere by the Cowboys locker room. No cap, I am not lying. I don't know. It got too hot for people. Yeah, y'all leaving. We just now getting started. It doesn't got. I don't even blame y'all. It's hot. Huh? Oh, I'm bringing my sound system. Nah, I'm, I'm an artist, I'm performing. Oh, but it seems like everybody leaving though. I don't blame y'all, it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see right now, this is what it takes. You know, sometimes you show up to a show and ain't nobody here no more. So what we gonna have to do is, we gotta improvise, you know what I'm saying? It look like that's where the car show at. Oh yeah, nah, this ain't it right here. Dad, what you think, what should we do? Let's sit this down. Sit on his feet. On his feet? Let me see. Got you. All right, so what's happening is it's almost 5 o'clock, and uh, we got here. It's a baseball game going on, but it ain't even really nothing to call a show, really, to be honest, you know? I mean, it's people out here, but... Where is the engagement, you know? You know what, I sound like a pessimist right now. Do I sound like a pessimist? I just sound like somebody that, I mean, this is just a show that I was invited to and it's hot out here, y'all. It's about 1200 degrees, so I don't blame these people for leaving, you know what I'm saying? So what should I do to be a good sport? Should I perform anyways? I should? Okay. You already got the speaker out. I got my speaker out right, yeah. Okay. Let's just, I guess, just go over here. You know, check this out. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Been hurt the past, been playing it low. Trying to heal this damage, yo.
the peace and the nirvana The fly from your ass and the heat like a sauna To be in your presence, baby, is a honor Not making me stress and not making me wonder You shooting it straight and not sending me yonder We hop on the line and we kick like a pawn They say yeah. love a battlefield, but yeah. it's a jungle Cause yeah. these lines, lines raw, raw, these snakes, snakes too Gotta keep your grass cut cause